Hi, a very mis miserable day in London today, South London. We've had some lovely weather this week, although it's been cold. This is a bit warmer today, a little bit, but it's still miserable. Um, anyway, I've prepared this this ball, this piece of Fabriano paper. It's an old watercolour, and I've fried it with the PVA glue mixed with a bit of uh, burnt sienna just to prime it, cover it up. Uh, and then I dried it. I then poured some, or oh, pasted out some, spread out some ready mix filler on it, and with a with a, a brush, I've um, with a household brush, I've um, spread it all around in the PVA glue. It's just an ordinary household painter's brush, cheap. And um, before it dried, I, I got a piece of kitchen paper, kitchen, this stuff, tissue, and I folded it in a ball and tamped all over the wet uh, filler and PVA glue and made a lovely surface to paint on. I'm going to paint a, a field with some houses abstract. Uh, well, not entirely abstract, abstract impressionism. I want to make a, a big blue sky and a field uh, reminiscent of a field along a lane in Arlesford. How long it remains a field? Well, does not know? I think I want to turn it into housing. It's a, a big, large flat field and we come out of my brother's, brother in law's house and go down this lane, past the Burns Out Church, sadly, and turn right across the countryside and drop down into Wivenhoe. Um, it's a really lovely open area. So here we go, let's, uh, let's get cracking on. A bit of blue. I think it's... Well, let's just... I'll put some dark bits in, the, in, in with the, uh, the sky as well, some dark blue, and I'll use a bit of, a bit of um, PVA glue to make it flow a bit and fill up the holes a little bit, or we'll get into the holes. Um, I'm uh, mixing black with a bit of uh, ultramarine, gives a good Good dark sky or dark blue overhead. Lovely. Quite a low horizon on this. Let's just get that in there. Using a inch varnish brush, Pro Arte, it's an artist quality brush. Right, uh, I've got another one here, which I bought last Saturday. And let's uh, cut the tip off, and I'll use that as well. I might as well use wear out too. They're great brushes, but they're they're not cheap. This is a fiver, five pounds. Um, but it's very good quality, so we'll break this one in as well now. Let's get, get some... I'm working... Uh, or inspired by a painting by Jackie Gardiner, who I really like. As it's dry, so I can go over more with clouds coming, coming over the horizon. We'll get this right down into the where the field is going to go. Now. Right, okay, now we're getting somewhere now, we're just... 
I don't want pure, apart from here and there, I don't want uh, white, pure white clouds, so I want a bit of, a bit, a bit but not, a, not an awful lot. And I'll, I'll put a bit, of, a bit more paint in that as that dries. I'll go in with the with the field from the other brush. If you haven't yet seen Jackie Gardner's work, go on her Facebook page or Google Galleries. She's a wonderful Scottish artist. And also Charles Wolfe. Um, we become good friends on on uh, line. We have with David Dickinson and a number of you. It's uh, sorry, was just more security coming up. Right, okay. Uh, so I'll put in a bit of a, a bit of background um, along this. Uh, We've, we've we've got uh, some. We'll put some trees on this side of the the, the, the path down here. Let's get dark green. As that dries, I can scumble over it. We'll, we'll put a bit over here as well. Put a bit of bit of blue in it. And I'll try, try to indicate some houses there because there are houses and I'll just rough in quickly some Sienna, the, both Siennas. Don't want to do too much on this. Just, I'll just uh, loosen up a bit with a bit of glue. I'll put a bit of a grey road down there. I need some more paints now. So, yellow ochre. Oh, I've been calling it but, uh, raw sienna. It's not, it's a yellow ochre. So raw sienna I use in... Uh, in the uh, watercolour, so a bit of burnt sienna. Okay, I think we can have a bit of burnt umber in there as well. Oops, sorry, I don't use a lot of burnt umber, but uh, I should because it's such a great colour, or a great uh, dark, especially mixed with blue. But I mix a lot of burnt sienna with blue, with the alchemy. Keep your brushes moist and clean because without realising it, if it dries, you've lost your brush. Right, okay. A bit of white in here. Put a bit of bit of light on that horizon along there. Don't turn that up too high, that horizon. A bit of detail in the uh, field. All right, okay. Well, I'll put a road in, but just just a bit of grey, really.
Okay. Uh, now, um, A bit big, huh? I'll wait for that to dry a bit. Uh, just put a bit of uh, tree there. Oh, when that dries, I can. Uh, just put a bit of detail on it. Right, let's go back over that sky now. But before I do, I'll just put in that dark, put some of that dark back here. I'll have to put some more black out. Try to create a bit of distance in that. I'll give it a bit of a dry just to speed up things. Don't want to spend too much time on this one because I'm getting hungry. Right, headphones off. This is a great uh, thing about acrylic is the speed of drying, but you have to uh, let's clean off a bit of my palette there. You can crack on with the painting quite quickly, but I think the moisture in the air is uh, is uh, not helping the drying process today. But it's a relative thing. I mean, this. <laughs> If this is all, it'll take ages, but um, it doesn't. But acrylic is acrylic. You, you can't really expect it to do what oil does, but then it's got its own qualities. But if you've used both, then you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, okay, bit of, bit of blue, bit of black. Just to give, some focal points in the in the sky, really. Just dark blue, but made so with with some with some with some black just in. My fan heats me. This is My fan heater has come on. Uh, right now we'll we'll lighten up around there now. But a bit more blue. I can't show you the palette like I have been 
in the watercolour because it's too big the watercolour palette is much uh, Now I'll get some pure white in there, but I'll probably have to pour out some more. Just keep a... I'm using white, I don't normally use white, but I just want to put some contrast in the sky because it's a bit too monotonous otherwise. A bit of blue in We're nearly there. Just uh, great big clouds. What does that look like? Yeah, it's looking all right. Soften a little bit. Okay, uh, I'm gonna soften, soften, soften. Uh, uh. Okay, that that do really more than that would be too much, I think. A bit more contrast in the uh, background here, I think, because that white. And we're going to put in a little bit of detail of the houses. Uh, that's a bit too clinical there. Uh, with my half inch brush, well, I'll find out where the double Right, I want to put a couple of roof lines on here. I think I'm going to paint that out, I don't really like it. Oops, we've got a bit of, bit of rogue colour in there. So we'll have to carry that one a bit further in there now. A little bit of orange. Right, I'm just going to pour out some more white. So bear with me. Clean.
You use more white than any other colour, so don't stint on that, don't buy cheap stuff. All the rest of my colours are mostly inexpensive, but um, the white, a 500ml tub, was about £14, but it does last a long time. Uh, right. Uh, I think that bit of light, so orange, has not done me any favours there because it's, I haven't used it anywhere else, so let's take it out. There's another little tiny bit of show through, but. Uh, right, now I want you to put in uh, the uh, let me see. Um, hum, hum, hum. We'll give a bit of a bit impression that there's some, some roofs in the, uh, in the back here. So there are houses all, all along here. It's the Wivenho Road. If anybody from that area. Knows uh, this bit of North East Essex. Very lovely. the road here. And I can't remember, it's called Chapter's Rest or something. I'm not sure. We've been in there a couple of times. Right, let's get a bit of, bit of light in this here. Bit of, in, bit of blue in the back then just to make it go back a bit. Right, I want to get back some more colour in the in the landscape now. Clean the brush. So I keep them in the water to keep them sort of till they need them I can bring them out a bit. Okay, let's uh, go in for this colour here. Nice thick stuff. Bit of white in there just to bit of light catching here and there. You can put in a bit of red if you want. Blue orange. Just to indicate the the verge.
Well, let's just drag some colour, some local colour over there. It really is a lovely flat field. It's normally would make it boring. Need to put in some more housey things here. Then I think I'll call it a day because I think that will be enough. A very simple painting. Try some some bits of building. We can always have a, a, a red roof or a tiled roof. And a bit of white stucco showing through. Put that in a mountain, you know. <coughs> That's a little bit complicated, complex, and a bit, bit uh, bitchy there. Must, must be able to do something there. Uh, let's uh, change the colour of those trees on the. Oh, not one of the I don't like that. So I'll put that in, in, the, in the light coloured mount and see what I oh. see a bit what I swear, just not my Oh what a day here. Do you have these days where everything goes wrong? I've just spilled my pot of uh, glue over. I thought I should have put the top on. Well, let me try the back of this. Okay, let's open it up. For you follically challenged guys out there, do you ever find that because you have a muscle top, you always bash your head? And I did that before I started this, so I feel like suffering from a bit of anger. At least some anger management at the moment. I'll put this small, this small double mount here. Uh, no, let's see, put the full side on. Don't look. Call this angry field, I think. Well, okay, well, it, it doesn't look too bad, does it? Uh, so, uh, bring it back. What looks good to me, or well, reasonably good to me, on 
the the right is this is this road down. I only just scumbled it in and did it very quick. I tried to put some detail across here. Maybe that's a bit too too much. Uh, I don't know. I like the sky. It's not too busy. A bright summer's day with this uh, cornfield on the left. Done as simply as I could. Some nice bushes going down the road. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Thanks for watching. But I'll clear my mess up now. Bye bye.